All right, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the DJ Chronicles with your boy, DJ Jimmy Hustle. Uh, these past few weeks have been very interesting. Um, I know you guys saw the last episode, but um, we did two gigs in a weekend. Um, that family reunion that you saw, I did with my QSE speakers. And what I didn't tell you guys was one of them blew out. Yeah. So I'm down one speaker and um, I had to send it off to get work done and it's still there so I'm down one speaker. On top of that, um, y'all know I've been having my issues with my laptop overheating so I finally uh, took it somewhere to get work done. Um, shout out to GTI Computers. I took it to them and they fixed it less than a week. Got it back. It is working beautifully. So um, I shouldn't have any more issues with that. Um, and then on top of that, I did take a vacation. I got away from everything, no social media, no nothing. I went to New Orleans and had a blast. Um, me and my wife had a very good time. We stayed at a five-star hotel called the Royal Sinesta. It was beautiful. The only issue was it was on Bourbon Street. I did not think that all the way through. Um, all I saw was the pictures and that five-star rating, and I jumped on it. But um, yeah, we got there 6 o'clock on a Thursday and it was lit on a Thursday. It was packed. It was so packed I had to drive through people to get to the hotel. That was not fun. That was like driving through a bunch of zombies like I was in The Walking Dead or something. That was ridiculous, man. And just like I said, that was on Thursday. So the closer it got to the weekend, the worse it got. And I was like, man, I can't even do this, man. So was, I know Saturday, uh, we drove. Um, I went to go see somebody um, away from Bourbon Street. And I was like, hey, man, before nightfall, I got to get back to that hotel. He was like, why? He's like, bro, I'm staying on Bourbon Street. He said, okay, get up out of here. So he already knew. So, and we still got um, caught up in some jacked up traffic and everything else, man. But other than that, if you are a foodie, you have to go to New Orleans because that food right there is amazing. My goodness, man, like we did not go to one bad restaurant and we just tried anybody restaurant and the food was good, man. I was like, golly, like this is how y'all do it in New Orleans, man? Like, man, that food was good. And then we went to the historic Dookie Chase. And let me tell you, I put that food in my mouth and a tear drop down my face because that food was so good and then they had the nerve they had the nerve to have a buffet what man i was in there just dancing in my seat had a good old time in there man that food was so good good god man if you love food you got to go to new orleans believe me you will not be disappointed other than that we have another episode and I have another event today and uh, it's another one, it's different. Um, we're gonna be doing a event on somebody's patio today at somebody's house. Um, not tripping about that because they told me that the house is located in Queens Harbor and I did not know what Queens Harbor was. I was like, is that in St. Augustine or something? He was like, no. <laughs> so he gave me the address, man. It's like close to Mayport, man. And I drove out there. And you can't even drive out there without, you know, getting a pass from the residents. And they don't play, man. They take your, your ID, your car, write down your car model and all kind of stuff, man. I was like, man. And once you get through that gate, Beautiful houses, man, everywhere, man. It's like mid-size, the large, the extra large, the mansions, like all that stuff is in them, man. And them things are beautiful, man. I'm like, good God. And they got golf courses right in the backyard of people's houses and stuff. I'm like, what? So that's what we had today, folks. Um, I'm about to go ahead and get everything settled. Um, like I said, it's going to be a pretty good event, man. They said they have me. I'm like, they have a DJ for a party in the patio. Man, damn. That's crazy. 
But they have me, they have the comedian, like all kind of crazy stuff, man. So we're going to see what this thing do. I'm about to go ahead and uh, get myself situated, and we're going to go ahead and load up this van. So if y'all ready, come on, man. Let's go. Girls, we got everything loaded in the van. Everything is rocking and rolling. It is 4:04, and I have to be there at 4:15, so I am pushing it really close. But I am not worried for a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason is, like I told you guys before, um, one of my QSC speakers did blow out, but I still have the other one, and we are going to be on somebody's patio. And they already told me they do not want the music that loud, so that is beautiful because all I have to do is bring my one QSC speaker and set that up and that will do the job without a problem. So, I'm good to go on that. So that will not take long to set up. Um, I did bring my big turntable because, like I told you guys, if you pay top dollar, you get top dollar equipment. No ifs, ands, or buts. So, I brought um, my big Goldie, my big SZ2 Pioneer turntable, and um, we're going to knock this thing out the park, man. I did bring my backup sound system just in case the QSE speaker acts up, but I don't think it will, and I pray it does not. Um, so like I said, man, we pushing it close, um, but we'll still be good. They only giving me 45 minutes or less to set everything up, so I need every minute of it. Other than that, boys and girls, like I say, I'm not going to show you guys, you know, the houses, anything like that. I showed y'all last time, so you need to look at the last episode if you want to see some of the houses. But, um, like I say, I'm not going to show the owner's house or anything like that because I am respectable of people's houses and where they lay their head. You do not need to see that. And um, I'm just going to show y'all where I'm setting up and where I'm playing at. That is it. Other than that, man, I'm going to focus on this road so I get here in a good amount of time. So the next time y'all see me is setting it up So I, because I have to get up in there and knock this thing out real quick, man. So we're going to move on to the next scene, man. Yeah. Bye. 
Nobody tell me nothing. So, all right, Patrick asked me to do some uh, stand-up for this birthday party. So we're going to do a little bit right now. Happy birthday, by the way. So I had my dog neutered recently. Went to the vet. It said canine castration on the paperwork. I'm like, ooh, that sounds really, really aggressive. I'm like, really, canine castration? Can we think of something better to call it? Like, testicular harvesting or something? Yeah. Something more gentle? I have a friend, she's kind of different. She's kind of out there a little bit. She's kind of in a different universe. She tells me I have an aura, and when I, when I walk into a room, it, 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 it glows bright gold, and I fills the whole room. And I'm like, no, that doesn't sound like me. I might have a bright gold aura, but it definitely has black in there, and some purple, light purple. So I, read, I wrote a manatee once. You would think the six leg clouds would get better at spelling by now. They've been doing those commercials for years. <laughs> Tattoos while you wait. I'm like, is there really an option here? You have to leave your arm behind and come back later. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> we need to get Chris DJ, you got a drum thing. Hey, hey, yeah, but hey, hey, get, a, get, a, get a drum, a beat or something for him. Oh, yeah, uh, we went to Lemon Bar. I walked into the bathroom and they... Yeah. In front of me was a guy who's like 6'5", 260, black gentleman. And it's like, okay, big guy. So he walks up and there's like a kitty urinal, which why there's a kitty urinal in a, in a bar, I don't know. And there's three regular size urinals right next to him. So the big black guy goes up to the kitty urinal, which I thought was an interesting choice. But I thought about it, I'm like, well, 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 probably won't be a problem. Anyway, so <laughs> racism is kind of subjective anyway. You know, you say something like, all black men like chitlins, that's racist. What? All black men like watermelon, that's very racist. Okay. So, but if you say something like, all black men are great dancers, kind of racist, but not really a, an insult. So you say something like, all black men have huge <laughs> dicks, all of a sudden they're like, wait a minute, hold on. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got one more piece. Oh. Thank God. Jesus Christ. You gotta play it. All right, all right. Yeah, that was that was the last one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you guys had a good time. Yes. If you don't know my name, I go by the name of DJ Jimmy Hustle. I'm all around Jacksonville. I'm the favorite mobile DJ around. Please, please take a card. Oh, not a problem. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> So, hope you guys had a good time. All right, boys and girls, that's a wrap. Um, I did find out that this event was a 30th birthday party, and um, it turned out pretty good. Um, everything went well. Um, it was a surprise party, so he was definitely surprised, and uh, he had a very good time, um, and all the guests had a very good time. I had a good time. Um, believe it or not, it was nice and chill. Um, I got to play, you know, stuff I usually don't play at parties because we always dancing. But this one was nice and chill. You know, they just wanted to have a good time and eat and um, conversate with each other. Um, but that comedian, wow. Yeah, you talk about awkward, man. That was awkward, man. And his jokes, man, those jokes were something else, man. And you, all you heard was crickets the whole time. And it got kind of rough, man, because then the guests started hackling him. And, yeah, it went downhill from there once that started. So, yeah, I had to stand up there right there with him the whole time, man. And that was rough. And I was looking like, I don't think this can get any worse. But it did. It did get worse. You know how? The comedian decided to start telling black jokes. Yeah. And that's kind of rough because I was the only chocolate drop in there. So he started telling black jokes. Not just any black jokes. Okay? It was black penis jokes. Yeah, you heard me. Black penis jokes. And I was just like, you got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> like, out of all the jokes, bro, that's what you decide to tell. And... Yeah, and I had to sit there and just smile throughout the whole time. And it got so bad, man, till the guests uh, came to me after the 
um, party, man, they was like, hey, man, I just want to apologize. I knew that was rough for you, man, but I was like, hey, it is what it is, man. You got to you gotta roll with it, man. Um, you know, they jokes, you know, so I like jokes. Um, I definitely like jokes where you don't believe that people will actually say the things coming out of their mouth. That's one of the best ones, but still, it's rough when you're standing there. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I had to deal with that. But other than that, the, um, the whole party was good, man. It was nice vibes all the way around. Um, they made sure I was straight, you know. They gave me a plate, all that good stuff. And I'm about to tear that up as usual. And um, yeah, man, it was just a blast, man. <laughs> other than the black penis jokes. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, we gonna keep these things rolling, man. That or something else. But uh, this is the end of the DJ Chronicles, man, with your boy DJ Jimmy Hustle.